we started from the business uh, before we look to the technology and how to implement and to create digital experiences, we look to the business and to the value chain of our business. We talk about a lot about our process and the, in the correlation with our business value chain and have a high alignment with the, the business team to create this digital strategy. And after that, when we look to the IT to create the business transformation that is required, we understand that we need to, to focus in the construction of the public APIs. But in that time, we don't have the necessary knowledge to do it fast. And we call to Sensidia Consulting Team to help us to understand uh, what the APIs is really necessary, what we are going to do first, to, and they helped us to design, implement, and deploy our first APIs. And also, we are implemented their API platform to help us to, to have a high security, scalability, and performance that we need to, to achieve our results. And the project of public APIs, uh, our strategy is based to, to deliver uh, the APIs based on business domains. I think it's uh, the, the most uh, important of the project. And we worked a lot to define the architectural standard for the development, uh, security and governance of our environment. And what we integrated, we integrated all, all of our business value chain, starting from the contact center platform, the case management application, passing through our field service management platform, which is our core business in Brazil, and integrating our financial and provider management applications uh, provided by SAP. We, in the project, we understand that we have three main consumer public, the first of them is the, our partners, customers and business partners. The second main group of the consumers is the service providers. And later we discovered that we can sell our assistance service to the market and we created the on-demand group. So all of these results in a group of APIs based domains and they are all shared between uh, these consumers, like assets, like uh, products, orders, field sales, field resource, and many of them. Our solution, uh, like I said, we have a, a very complex architecture. Our applications is uh, very distributed. Uh, so the project consists in create an abstraction layer of our environment. To, to create simple APIs to be consumed. It's called by Open API Project. And we, we can expose our field service management, uh, our case management, our enterprise service bus and legacy and support system. All of that supported by Sensidia API platform. And today we have 110 APIs with 2 million requests per month with 41 connected applications from Europe assistance and from our customers, partners, and service providers. The roadmap, everything started in 2012 with our strategy to modernize our legacy applications and move to a service-oriented architecture implementation and implementation of our service bus. And it's, it's very good because when we started in 2015 our open API project, uh, it's become easier to integrate our environment. And in the beginning of the open API project, you, we already have the opportunity to deploy in the production our first uh, roadside assistance native app to the market. And in the end of 2016, we, we make uh, great partnerships with startups to, for the on-demand model, like Help Me Cars, like uh, Zona Azul and Use, which is a digital insurance company from Brazil. It's a, a very grateful case. And in 2017, we continue to work with Open API project. We deliver the service provider app we were invited by a partnership with Waze in Brazil. So the Waze users, uh, when they, they, their car broke, they can use Europe Assistance 
assistance using connecting with our API. And in this year, 2018, we focused in a, another business line. We firstly focused in automotive. Now we are working in home assistance business line. So we delivered this year with a, a, a app to transform our business to, to our digital transformation. And last month, we, we implemented our virtual agent and chatbot integrated with our APIs to, to optimize our contact center. And last, last month, we worked with Bradesco, which is the Brazilian largest insurance company, to do the digital road assi roadside assistance integrating with Google Assistant and IBM Watson. The results that we achieved with this three years project that, and we continue to work with that uh, is now, now that we have a fully digital customer journey. We, we have an omnichannel platform so the user can ask for ourselves using our app or third party app and call to call center so the information is the same. We connected our value chain of partners, customers and service providers. We digitalized all the service providers' network, so each service provider can connect to our backend using our APIs and create a new business opportunities like on-demand and e-commerce for, for services. To give a few numbers of that, today we have more than 5,000 service requests per month using our backend and applications, more than 12 thousand uh, field service tracked in real time by our customers and more than 600 tow drivers using our app to so we can know their position in real time and send field service to them. Well, uh, it's all. Thank you for your attention. Merci. If you have some questions. Anyone? If you don't, I have some. <laughs> okay, I'm going there. Europe Assistance is a global company. Where yes. you more. Is focused on Brazil. Do you have any intention to build something more local? We are working on a global project to share applications between the countries. Uh, we each country have the, their own application and roadmap. So for 2020 and 2025, we work in a roadmap to use uh, common solutions of them. So we have uh, separated initiatives from each country. Uh, Italy has its own digital roadside assistance project. French, Spain, and Brazil they are all separated, but we are moving to a global company, global IT company solution. Yes, yes. Uh, our open API strategy is to create an abs abstraction layer. Uh, focus to sometime we need to change our legacy applications. So to not need to refactor any application, we have this ab abstraction layer. So we can move to global applications. Uh, but each country will have its own API strategy. Thank you. More questions? Luis, you said that you had one. Talking again about the international way moving forward, um, is it, depending on the country, the partnerships are totally different, the business is different. Uh, if, you, if you take the UK and France, I don't know Brazil, but the models are completely different. How, from a, a product management perspective, are you planning on uh, evolving those APIs? make them more global, more usable between countries? Yes, uh, it's a, a very complex challenge. Uh, Brazil has a, a lot of business rules different from European countries. So the, we are studying a lot the, the application from the European group, of the holding group, to, to know what fits to us and what needs to be changed from the core applications, 
from case management, field service management, and financial systems. The financial process uh, is already aligned. Each country uses its own SAP instance. But uh, for field service management, we understand that we are going, each country is going to use their local application to, to fulfill this, uh, each business rule that is required. Uh, but the, the API strategy is local. Uh, we don't have a, a alignment until now about the API strategy. Uh, for, but the, for the case management, for the contact center, we understand that we can share the applications and the process. Uh, we need to know who is calling to us, what I going to provide, where, when, and how much is the value that I need to provide. So it's the basic for the, the each country. What changes? Geolocal geolocalization process changes a lot. Brazilian is a big country, different from... Hello? Hello? Okay. Uh, we have difference in the, our... Hello? Hello? Okay. Hello? Uh, so we have a, a very different uh, geographic structure in the country, so we need to consider that. Uh, I think it's not, it will not be a very easy project to us. Yes, yes, very challenging. Any questions? More questions? Luis? Actually, I, I have a question that we were talking before. Um, you mentioned uh, the context you were on. Uh, what was the biggest challenge of, of them all? What was the biggest difficulty you had in this process? I think the biggest challenge and difficult to us for IT is to understand the business and understand where do we start to build our APIs. Uh, it's a, a, it was a very complex job. Uh, we choose, chose with your, the Sensidia help and the business area to start with automotive business. It's the largest in Brazil, represents 70% of our, our services. And nowadays, this year we moved to home assistance, and the next years we're going to talk about uh, travel, health, funeral, and concert services. So we are giving each step for, from each time. More questions, guys? More questions? Well, thank you. Merci.